and girls, it's 10.45 on Monday and I'm starting this week's video early so I can get in all my locations. Um, this week I'm going to try and cover all the challenges that I have built up, which are uh, six locations, uh, dressing up like a spaz, and uh, my high coat. So <sighs> hopefully we'll get it all done. Um, so this is my first location. This is my one of one of my workplaces. This is Kid Zone, which I haven't showed you before. I'll have a little walk around and have a show you. Um, so this week's theme was oh right uh, the schedules for LeakyCon. There's a full shot of the store. Uh, what we sell is we sell kids clothes, so anywhere from newborn to all the way to 14 years. So it's actually a fun store to work in. Um, so yeah, this week's theme was um, our, uh, the schedules for LeakyCon, uh, what we want to see and all that sort of thing. I didn't bring my no glasses, I'm sorry. Um, it's early and I'm not a morning person and this may be a little bit discombobulated. I guess I will see you shortly at my parents' house. Hi. And girls, um, I didn't end up going, well I went to my parents but I didn't end up videoing at my parents so I'm going to have to do that later on. But uh, this is location number three which is my other workplace which is Kiki K, which I think you've seen a little bit of before. Um, so I'm probably not going to get all the information in individual videos, I'll probably do it all at the end. But um, now Nina, I hope you're feeling a lot better. Um, it kind of sucks getting sick right after you're really busy so I hope you're feeling a lot better and I guess I'll see you guys at the next location <laughs> so the highlights of this week the big important news for this week would be number one the release of the uh, of a few bits and pieces of uh, Deathly Hallows trailers and TV spots and just cool lots of new footage which has been really fun to watch um, but two probably the most Important, I don't know, important, but that flashy bit of news is Pottermore. Um, I can't say I've been keeping up with all of the news on it. I've got the Pottermore website and the YouTube channel both in my, um, the Firefox bar at the top of Firefox. Um, I check that every day and I've set my timer on my, um, on my iPod Touch to go off about 10 minutes before the countdown is supposed to finish on Thursday night and it will be a lot of fun. I can't wait to find out. My personal suspicions, um, obviously it's going to be Potter related with a name like Pottermore. Um, we've been told it's not a video game or uh, I'm pretty sure we've decided it's not going to be some sort of video game. Um, it's not related to Deathly Hallows and it's not a new book. I'm sort of putting my money on in some sort of ice, uh, ugh, encyclopedia or uh, reference material like Joe writing down and this is probably what I want as well as what I think it would be but um, sort of Joe writing down a whole lot of information that's never appeared in the books or in interviews but she has in her head because she's, this is her world she knows it better than anybody else she knows what's happening to the to characters in future who they marry what their kids names are and I, I'm wondering if it's a resource of that sort of bulk information sort of opening the world out a little bit more for things that weren't relevant to the story or just never had a time to come into the story and she just wants to share them. That's what I hope it is anyway and that's what I suspect it might be but we won't know for three, was it, three more days now? Yeah, um, but that'll be exciting, I can't wait. Um, like I said earlier, I hope you're feeling a lot better Nina. Um, being sick sucks. Good morning girls. Um, so I was going to take you down to the river today and to my old school, but I don't know if you can tell, but it's a little wet. It's not raining right now, but it was earlier on. I'm just walking into town now. So, unfortunately I'm not going to get all six locations put into this video, but I will take you down to the river on another, like, on another day when it's just a bit nicer. Um, so, tonight is the... Well, today I guess technically is the winter solstice and I really like to celebrate the winter solstice. I'm kind of, I kind of like the old traditions. I like pagan traditions, not in depth, but just generally speaking. So every year I try and get a, have a roast on winter solstice. We have like a nice big dinner, go to my parents, I cook dinner, cook dessert, have some friends around if they're free. It's just kind of nice. So I'm currently going into town to pick up a couple of things for my uh, dress like a crazy person challenge 
and see if I can find some more gifts to you guys <laughs> and also pick up some food so after that I'm going to my parents and yeah <sighs> yeah I'm sorry I didn't get to get all my locations um, I actually woke up this morning and it was totally clear blue sky in every direction I'm like yes so I got up and I put a load of washing on because I've been trying to do that for days but it keeps raining and about halfway through the cycle clouds over <laughs> typical oh well what can you do <sighs> so close to leaky con I'm so and everything's coming together as well um just this morning I popped on to the Facebook and I saw the uh, uh, Christina's uh, thank you JK Rowling for um, video and I'm probably going to do that because it sounds like a brilliant thing to do um, I can't believe it's so close and there's still so much to do so <laughs> oh well this is going to be such a big video <laughs> I'm doing really badly on my six locations challenge um, I got rained out today so I couldn't go down to the river or to my school which were going to be my last two locations um, and I didn't end up recording my parents place for dinner because we were busy cooking and eating and hanging out with my family but um, it was really fun um, like I said we did a winter solstice dinner which was really cool we made a pork roast and we also had a lemon meringue pie which was delicious and my mummy helped me so it was awesome <laughs> um, so this video has been really everywhere and I haven't gotten like any of my challenges completed fully um, it's late now, <laughs> too late to write a haiku, um, so next week will have to be a makeup week. Hopefully I won't get any challenges um, in the space between now and next week. Um, if I do, then I'll just have to work it out. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's been a great week. Um, it's been interesting looking through the schedule and getting everything sorted out. Um, I actually just this afternoon looked through all the vendors that we've got coming to Leaky that are registered for Leaky so far. Oh, I'm going to spend so much money. I know I'm going to. It's just, there's so much cool stuff. I was expecting the vendors to be awesome, but now that I've seen them, I could go onto the website and see what they're selling. Oh, I'm definitely going to buy a second suitcase. Um, <laughs> but, um, oh, I'll show you what I got. This is my, my little sister's suitcase. Um, it's... We think it's slightly bigger than my suitcase, and it's also a little bit more noticeable, but I guess you can see it. It's kind of cool. Uh, my one looks like, uh, like that. So hers looks much more interesting, so that's the one I'm going to be taking with me, and that'll be cool. Um, I think that's everything for this week. Now the last thing is the challenge. Um, okay, so my challenge for whoever I draw is I want you to introduce five, uh, five Harry Potter fandom items that you have. I got this, it would have been about 2001-2002 and it's a Harry Potter, official Harry Potter jewellery making kit. I'm going to be making a necklace for LeakyCon with it. But um, that is the strangest piece of Harry Potter merchandise and memorabilia that I own. But it's one of my favourites. Um, but I want to see what you guys have. Um, so it doesn't have to be official. Um, it doesn't have to be directly Harry Potter, but maybe it's just something you've picked up from uh, <clears throat> a get together or just something. Yeah, five items that you have which are Harry Potter related, and I want you to show them to us. Um, dice roll. So that's a six. So I believe that's Isabel. I will double check that. Yep, so that one's for you, Isabel. I want to see all your Harry Potter stuff. Or at least five of them, anyway. <laughs> um, so, hopefully this video has been interesting, even though it's been crazy and all over the place, and I've actually got nothing I plan to get done in the video done. And it's going to be super long, but I hope you've enjoyed it. And I hope everybody's week is awesome, and all your planning's going well. Brooke, I hope everything works out for you either way. I hope... Just, I really hope everything sorts out because I think the worst thing is not knowing at the moment is the stress of trying to figure out what you're going to do. So I hope it all comes together. No matter what the outcome, we still love you. So I'm sure we'll find another way to meet you if you can't come. Um, and yeah, so I'll see you guys throughout the week. And I'm sure I'll have another video full of things happening because things just seem to be happening constantly at the moment. And... Yeah, see you guys. Bye. <laughs>